And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nox Cryo Arena with a bunch of Frostbite Freljord cards. We're calling it Nox Cryo Winter. So we are going to try to um, Frostbite all of our opponent's enemies or just, you know, some important ones, make them zero power. And the reason why we want to do that is because of this um, Noxus card, Nox Cryo Arena which looks pretty cool, and I bet it's it's uh, pretty awesome in the winter also. It's the Nox Cryo Winter. So we're uh, round end, our strongest enemy and the our, our strongest ally and the weakest enemy will strike each other. And of course, if their enemy, the weakest enemy, should have zero power with all of our uh, Frostbite cards, and so we'll be able to um, have something, whatever our largest thing is, strike the uh, enemy with zero power. And so it doesn't really matter that their enemy is striking us back. So that's what our deck's set up to, to do. We also have Rhymefang Wolf. It's going to reward us for having the um, zero power units on the other end. Because if the Rhymefang Wolf strikes any unit with zero power, you just kill it immediately. We have Rhyme Touch Shaman. Round start. We're just frostbiting the strongest enemy every round. Get frostbitten and uh, then strike with the arena. Great combo there. Our champions are going to be doing a frostbite. And of course, Ash is going to be very important because whenever uh, we... Uh, Frostbite five things, then Ash levels up, and then any of their things with zero power can't block. And Ash will be ending a lot of games that way. Plus, Sejuani will be doing some Frostbite and Vulnerable as well. We'll have Culling Strike. They can kill enemies that are Frostbitten, because uh, they, they will have less than a three power at that point. And that's kind of the rest of the deck. Babbling Bjerg will draw our champions, Ash and Sejuani. We have a Field of Rush that puts the champions into play. And three Harsh Winds, three Flash Freeze, a couple Brittle Steels, some Ice Veil Archers, and then, you know, of course, the Rhyme Touch Shaman is going to be a big part of this deck. So it should be pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and try it out. We'll see if we can kind of get this combo going. Yeah, we're a little light on units, but we're, we're hoping that uh, with all of the different combat spells that we have and, like, the Frostbite and stuff like that, we can keep our units alive for longer because they shouldn't be dying in combat. That's the hope. So we have our combo with Arena and Shaman, and then Trapper makes some good blockers. The problem here being, our opponents could be pretty aggressive, and I don't know if we're going to have time to set up Arena and Shaman, honestly. They're going to be pretty aggressive, so let's go ahead and mulligan those. I wouldn't mind keeping those against a different deck. Predictions are up. No one's the wiser. Which one would I rather trade? I guess I'd rather trade with the Legion Saboteur. My arrow won't miss. And I think we need to keep the 3-1 in play. You know, spending one spell mana to put a 3-1 into play is worth it for our deck. It can't be. Sure can. It's one enraged Yeti. You tried to trap it, and you did a poor job. Put on the train. You know, I'm not losing mana by not playing Culling Strike right now. I would like to respond to, like, um, stuff like that with Culling Strike. So that worked out well. We're a 5-3. Bring me the calm of an ice-shrouded world. Mm. 
So much Nexus damage. I can't stop the Nexus damage. Yeah, like they're just gonna drain me out and I can't I can't stop it. I'm keeping the cooling strike up because of Noxion Fervor. Yeah, this is just crazy. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What they attacked me for two? Two total? And they've just done 13 Nexus damage. Direct, even with me stopping to Nexus damage. They hit me with a, the 2 1 Fearsome, right? Or I guess, no, maybe the. Okay, never mind. The 2 1 Fearsome hit me twice. They've hit me for four with that. They had the attack token on turn one with it, also. Um, I guess I have to play this. I don't know. I know what lurks in the shadows. <laughs> Well, I guess I should not have played you, Ramta Shaman. All right, so who's blocking? You, you, and you. Tread carefully. I guess. Ice runs in our veins. Carved from the savage cold. So twenty is a good draw. Where are we at? Three? Okay. Brothers Bond. Okay. So, going to take it, I think. Yeah. Right, so, obviously I could Culling Strike this thing and keep my wolf alive, but, again, I don't think that's... I think that's okay. I don't think that that's going to cause us to lose. I think that I'm more scared of, like, Noxion Fervor, Demolicious, that kind of stuff. Okay. Man, that was close. That one was was pretty scary there for a bit. Ba -ba -ba. I like the Victor Zoe combination. I don't really know what Leona's doing in here. I don't know if Leona's really necessary, but I like that Victor Zoe combination. Now, yeah, like Zoe's really strong, right? Like we're going to, yeah, Zoe's pretty strong. Um, I think I actually mulligan this Avar Rosen Sentry because I just don't want to play it, honestly. Because the Rhyme Thing Wolf Ash combo is going to be really important for this game, and I want to save the Spellman. I want to have Troll Chant available to protect Rhyme Thing Wolf and Ash, so I don't really want to play the two one. Oh, got so punished for mulliganing. Oh, got so punished for mulliganing. All right, I should have just kept it, I guess. Oh, got punished. Really, Icefield Archer? A little late there.
I'll just try this. Let's see what happens. Okay. All the world on one arrow. Ash is the most important card to keep alive. Not the wolf. This has definitely gone well for them. So we we basically had the same number of cards in hand, but they had the, the free spells. Um, but I guess I had, a, I had a better board with Ash to clump of lumps. What's up, Zadig? Yep, you're right on time. They could give this thing a gem to do one damage to my wolf. Into yeah, you only missed one game, and it was it was a really good game that we just had against uh, spiders. Spider burn. It was a really good close game. I never like my chances against Targon decks. <laughs> it's kind of no matter what I play. I have a Targon deck I've been playing a lot off stream um, with Diana, no a Diana Nocturna, a Nightfall control deck. I'm going to have that on Rank Up Sunday. And that, that one's going to, in two days, that one's going to be fun. Um, but Here's these Targon cards are so good, <laughs> basically. I played eight games with it and I've won seven of the eight and the the one I lost is because I I took the wrong card with invoke. Definitely know where I went wrong with that one. Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drip, Zoe. Alright, so using Sejuani right here doesn't make the most sense. Because um they could you know I I could make that frostbite the Zoe frostbite the Zoe. But then they just uh put a gem on it. So they'd still get their super cool star chart either way. <laughs> yeah, I played played off stream like you know while like editing the YouTube videos, I'll I'll play some games like uh, break up the monotony of editing and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, you said to go ahead and change a few things in this deck before, and and we did like I added in like Rhyme Fang Wolf. Um, that's. That's something that we did. I will unite so I'm gonna play. Lord. I think I'm gonna play Ash because then I also get Ice Veil Archer, and I just get a, a really good healthy attack with the two of those. They're looking for like either the stun card or the, um, or the. What? Silence card. Either one of those are, are pretty awesome here, though. Okay, what did you do this time? Okay, and that's neither of them. Winter, take you. Arrows at the ready. I assume Spacey Sketcher is going to block a 3-1. Okay, they're just going to fail Cascade it. So they take 9. No, I... No, uh... I had the Nox Cry a card in my opener, but I mulliganned it because we were playing against a fast spider burn deck, so I, I mulliganned it. So we have not played it yet. This is our first time to now draw it in, in our hand. Those we care for reflect our love. Besides that, then yeah, we could play it here. Good. 
What spells have I played? I played Troll Chant. Is that it? Well, they don't need to save Zoe anymore. So now that's the only important thing is leveling up Zoe. Alright, so the good thing is that all their basically all their stuff's dead. Good news. And the arena will take down the Zoe. Yeah, we still got Harsh Winds, Coaling Strike. So we got some useful cards for sure. They still have a ton of cards though, because Targon, you know, draws so many cards. They still have twice as many cards in hand as we do. Yeah, Zoe did her job. Ooh, Victor and Mentor the Stone's gone. How'd they get that Pursuit of Perfection? Or do they just have Pursuit? Are they just playing Pursuit of Perfection? I guess so. I guess they're just playing that card. Good thing we got Frostbite. Good thing we got Frostbite. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. What a win. Nox Cry Arena. Nox Cry Arena took out three things. Right? It took out the 2 1, and then Zoe, and then that that last card. That, that uh, you know, 3 3. Took out all those. Yeah, that was, that was a really fun game. All right, so they got uh, these large things. Frostbite's definitely going to be good against the large things. However, the problem here... So, yeah, like, we have good good answers to these threats. The problem is, well, like, Trindomir gets to come back. The problem is them, like, killing all of my stuff, right? Like, that's... How do we keep our stuff alive? I'm not sure. Um, so I think we need some... Somebody... I think we need... We need, like, cards that... Cards that are good against removal. We don't have very many of those in our deck. Yes. Avros and Sentry. That's a good one. Nox Cry Arena. Probably also a good one. Feel the Rush. Perfect. Th these are the kind of cards we need. Sentry. Um, Feel the Rush. We need Babbling Beer. Right? Like, we need those kind of cards that are good against removal. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. If that card is... Okay, yeah, so it's just Vengeance that dies. If it was the DL3, we'd have Troll Chant. Not 
One trundle down. First trundle down. Just get that thing in play. Thing. I don't know if I, I should, should troll chant the 3 1. Maybe, but it's also 3 1. It dies super easily still. This is what I was talking about so like how like our stuff dying to removal is going to be the hard part of this game. So I, I like this field of rush. Bow to no one. Well, at least that's, that's not a ruination they'll have for the Field of Rush. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't need any more Noxcrya arenas. Just useless draws. Just drew all three of them. I guess I could have played around it that stairs, I guess. Probably game over. That's <laughs> that was kind of like the only thing I had. Um, yeah, this is this is where we're gonna struggle against decks with tons of removal because I don't I just don't have that many threats and all of these frostbite cards and these arenas. You know, like basically half our deck are frostbite cards and arenas, and those half of the deck just aren't you know aren't aren't very good if they kill all the other all the other cards. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Shatter them! I wouldn't say they have a lucky draw. I mean, they just... I, yeah, I wouldn't really say they have a lucky draw. I just kind of think this is what this matchup's going to look like for the most part. We just have... We just have... Like we're we're good in different matchups. This is not a matchup we're good against. We're not good against like Ruination deck, you know, Ru Ruination Avalanche, all that kind of stuff. We're just, this is just not a good matchup for us. A chill in the air. Sends chill. We would need we need a lot more card advantage and threats that are good against removal, right? Like we need a lot more like babbling Bjergs and Trifarian assessors to draw cards and all of that kind of stuff um, in this kind of matchup. Bitter cold. If it's a fight they want. That was a good calling strike draw. Tough matchup. Alright, Ballinger's good. Yep, 
Feel the rush, not good. GG's. Stack. So this is this will be better, right? Decks that are trying to attack is what we want. Like frostbite cards are great in combat with like other decks that are trying to attack. That that deck's not about attacking. That deck's just about killing all your stuff. And then and uh that's not really where um not really where our deck will shine. They forced us to choose death or the blade. That sounds like kind of the same thing, death or the blade. Or I guess I guess it's wielding a blade, not not taking a blade. Daedaly, happy new year. Thanks for the sub. Uh, the resub there for six months. Daedaly. If only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Yeah, okay, so death are going to war. So yeah, wielding a blade, not... Not that. Invisible to the ego. The trail. Lunari, rise. Tread carefully. Unite the frail yard. It's gonna be a close game. Not sure if I'm going to stabilize or not. So I could like attack immediately. But then, like, like if I play, if I plan on playing like arena afterwards, then they'll see the arena, and then they'll just like you know gem their goat. Um. So maybe I'll play the wolf instead of the arena. We should probably only be playing like one or maybe two arenas instead of three. These games, that, like these last two games of like drawing all these arenas, is is pretty bad. You only need the one. Drawing multiples is pretty rough, and it's it's not like it's like a ne necessary card either. It, so it should probably just be a one or a two of, because it's definitely a card you never want to draw two of. So that that means we probably shouldn't have three in the deck. All right, so I know my top so my top card's gonna be Enraged Yeti. They got theirs right away. I got mine last. Um. These stories were true. So yeah, we're gonna be playing harsh winds this turn. Forgive me. they just go with that, I could just block with my 5-5 five, five and then play Arena. So they have two cards that we don't know about? That's not many. This isn't a good play against Pale Cascade. Okay, cool, no Pale Cascade, at least not yet. They go, you know, gem Pale Cascade, they kill my Ash. That's... Okay, good. No Pale Cascade is really nice. That worked out quite well. Oh my gosh, a third one? Pain 
is nothing. It's kind of killing us playing three Nox Cry Arenas these last two games. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. On the trail. So I kind of want to take the Diana. <clears throat> I mean, it just seems super important. No, I guess I have. No, yeah, I guess I guess I have. I have harsh winds for Diana coming back. We will resist. You cannot hold us down. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Other combat spells are amazing. They just draw all those cards, you know, Pell Cascade, Unspeakable Horror. They're great. So that means... <clears throat> I should have pulled Diana. <laughs> yep, I should have done it. Because now the Diana's going to kill my Sejuani because of this arena. Oh, they had, you know, they just got a gem. Oh, they don't have a gem. I thought they had a gem, but I guess they we know they have a Nightfall card in hand, but I guess it's not a Nightfall card they could play. So just pass turn. Hopefully they didn't get a one drop. Face me, coward. Not a one mana Nightfall card. They did get a one mana Nightfall card. Come on. Oh, but I guess that's the weakest enemy now. Okay, so now that's a 7-3. Okay. Right. Ooh, that's a good draw. Ooh, I can't play that and Harsh Winds. One mana short. So they gotta play Harsh Winds this turn. So we know they have 4 1. We know they have the 1 mana 4 1. Pass. That's silly. Yeah, I guess no I guess they could just lies. they could just pass priority here and then my you know, have my four one kill Sejuani, but um so assuming they can't play this other card in hand. I could go here and then after damage these five to these trade anyway. So I'm gonna just go here, have them trade, and then my Rhyming Wolf kills this thing anyway. Also, so like I just don't take the four damage. No, oh that went terribly. Pill Cascade is so good. Oh that went terribly. Yeah. So I mean, this game, this game's just over. I can't. This arena is just killing me, right? Like, like without arena, we would have done that a lot differently. And I can't, I can't play anything now because of arena. Uh, arena. I mean, I, I need to play this rhyme touch shaman, but I can't because then the rhyme touch shaman just gets killed. Yeah. So unfortunately, arena just lost us this game. Just being three, three cards that were really bad. Yeah, arena backfired. Can't really do anything. I have to hope that they play like something smaller than Diana, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just have to. Yeah, I just, I just have to have this trade with Diana and keep my blocker alive for the ten five. Still have the multiple cards. Overwhelm only matters whenever you're attacking. And so just striking like Nox Cry Arena, you don't you don't have overwhelm damage go to the Nexus. It's just like a single combat. You know, you don't you don't have overwhelm damage go to the Nexus during a single combat like there. Two. Dusk approaches. 
ages. You own what you take. Really hope they don't have any more nightfall cards. The now they do. Awakens the soul. All those cards are useful. The, the arenas killed us that game, unfortunately. If those three Nox Cry arenas were any other cards in our deck, we win that game. Like 30. Go hard. I probably just can't keep six mana Sejuani either. This is again, though, another Shadow Isles, very heavy removal deck, and I think that's that's where we're going to struggle. Again, Nox Cry and not not good against removal, right? It's, it's just a dead card. So ho hopefully, you know, like these last two games we've drawn the three Nox Cryas. Hopefully, we draw zero. I really don't want to draw that card because I don't think it helps at all uh, for you know for for this matchup. So hopefully, we just keep on drawing like you know our Avaros and Sentries and Babbling Bjergs and Ash and all that kind of stuff. Come closer. I don't All right, good calling strike. No, hamster, it it, it works because you said that the shaman frostbite's the strongest unit, not the weakest, so it doesn't work because you frostbite the strongest unit and then you turn that strongest unit into the weakest because now it only has zero power. So now whenever because that happens at the round start. So then at the round end, when your Nox, Nox Cry has them fight, you took like whatever their big thing is, now only has zero power, so now it fights that thing. I'll burn what I've done. Safeguard our home. So the, the Shaman and the Nox Cry work very well together. No, the Nox Cry is round end. This is round start, the other one's round end. So I can I can challenge the spray fin and, and flash freeze it, but the problem with that don't know much, do you? Kind of expecting Withering Whale. No, I guess we do this. The problem with that is they can kill the, the Rhyming Wolf pretty easily, and then I just get two for one. I get you know my flash freeze and my Rhyming Wolf taken out. I thought about not challenging the Powder Keg at all, but I think it is worth the challenge to uh, kind of force them to play fast speed removal right now. We really want to face like the the Fiora Zoe decks are super popular right now. That's that's definitely something more we want to face. All these frostbite cards. Shadow Isles, I think in general, I I don't like unless it's like the Shadow Isles aggro, like fearsome aggro, like that kind of stuff. But these Shadow Isles removal decks, we we don't match up well against them at all. Tread carefully.
Rage Yeti's good. All the world on one arrow. The frost reveals all to me. Interesting. All right, so the Ruination that they could have is just gonna like kill us. Like I don't think we can really play around Ruination at all. So I like I'm not gonna play around it. I, I don't think we really have that luxury. I'm gonna be I'm just gonna play the Sejuani here. Gonna play the Field of Rush um, here as well. This next turn. I just don't think I have that kind of luxury to play around Ruination. So we're at three right now with Ash. Whenever we use Feel the Rush, we won't frostbite anything with Sejuani. That is a play. But attacking with both Ash would level up. Didn't know the boss is set for ye. Don't know much, do ya? Okay, so pack your bags for six, I guess. Okay, no pack your bags yet, at least. Yeah, pack your bags kills me. Ruination kills me. Stuff's gonna kill me. I can't worry about that. Our deck's pretty good. Or direct damage to me or something? Why are they saying GG's? Or are they saying that I'm gonna win? Maybe they're just saying yeah, maybe they're saying that I'm gonna win. My aim is true. I guess I guess we may win this. Unless they I guess pack your bags, right? Like I guess they're saying they have pack your bags. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They're gonna kill me with pack your bags. <clears throat> yeah, that's what they're saying. So it started off strong, started off with two wins, started off strong, but we really saw the holes in our deck after that. And really just the problems with Nox Cry Arena, it just completely cost us a game where if it's just, if we just have like three, three, like, like any kind of like somewhat useful, you know, Frel Yord and Noxus cards, we win that game number four, but it, it was just you know, a complete negative. And then even like the game number three, we draw, we drew all three of them and they did absolutely nothing there either. So it's, 
it's it's rough right like it's it's a very high variance card there's gonna be times where it's good like there was times like game number two that it killed three things and it, and therefore it looked pretty good because we got to kill three things with nox cry arena but there's gonna be a lot of games like games three and game four where it just did absolutely nothing and um and that's just kind of gonna kind of how it, it's gonna be i yeah it's it's so it's really difficult to have the nox cry arena kind of work out we saw that we really struggled with uh, card advantage, not having enough cards, and also being able to keep things alive. Um, the Shadow Isles decks that kill all of our stuff, that have Ruination, have Vengeance, have Good Removal, have um, Powder Keg plus Withering Whale over and over. It's really difficult to keep things alive. And that's where we struggled the most with that's basically where we struggled the most with, right? Like, we played against two of those kind of decks, like Shadow Isles, Removal Heavy decks, and we, we lost those two pretty convincingly. But the the game number four really should have been, a, you know, like, against, like, the Diana Fearsome deck. Usually, like, Frostbite's good in that kind of matchup. I think that really should have been a win, but they, they had some really kindly Pale Cascades, and then we also had the three Nox Cry Arenas that were just worse than, worse than, you know, they were just actual negative cards. Like, it was worse than not having any cards... Um, so like that, that's what cost us that game. But I think that normally we'd win that matchup. Um, unfortunately, I think that just playing mid range frostbite is going to be better than this deck though. You know, just instead of like, we tried like the cheeky Nox Cry Arena Rhyme Chest Shaman, Shaman combo, but honestly, just good old mid range frostbite is going to be a more powerful deck. Like where you have, you know, Avaros and Hearthguard and, um, Trifarian Assessor and, and Trifarian Glory Seeker for another Challenger and Captain Farron at the top end. That's just, you know, another Frostbite deck that's, that's going to be more powerful, more consistent, um, and probably better suited, but that's all right. You know, like we, we want to keep, you know, it's, it's good to keep pushing the envelope and trying out new stuff. You know, it's, you know, instead of just playing the exact same decks over and over, that's what we do here is we try out new cards and, um, you know, really see them in action and everything in a lot of different ways. And that's that's what we do. So hopefully y'all learned some stuff with the Nox Cry Arena and Frostbite and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully it was a good, entertaining video. All right. Well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. I would uh, love to see those comments. You got any good ideas with Nox Cry Arena? Let me know. I want to hear about it. I want to hear about your uh, best decks with the arena. Um, yeah. Let me know. All right. But that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.